here at the um, motion capture set. The setting is totally professional and it's, it looks amazing. The facilities and stuff you can get over here, like the size, the scale of this is just something that you can't really do in Tokyo. There aren't, there aren't any places this big. Here we go, let's roll the camera. This project involved a lot of new challenges and the first obviously um, big challenge for us is um, to hire an actors to do um, all the 3D scanning and also the motion capture. It's not very different to doing conventional green screen shooting, except you're capturing characters and shapes rather than the actual actors themselves. The ceremony is in less than two hours. We must make ready. And it's really cool when you see how we're filming, how we're doing the dialogue, how immediately you see how the actors here are transformed. You can see in real time into the characters they're playing. So you've got 60 or 70 cameras on this setup. Basically, they triangulate where the markers are that are on the actor. They track his movements throughout the space, and then we can reconstruct that. Once we're in that virtual environment, then we can spin around and view it from any angle. Uh, it's really useful for the director, so if he wants to frame a shot from a certain angle or, or check different views of, of that scene, um, it gives him the ability to do so in real time. The director, um, Takashi, has been very, very great. Um, he really um, loves at the new challenges. We could have done everything in Japan, but because he wanted to obviously try to get new audience, especially in the West, we decided to get Western actors. He wanted to use the Western actors to make sure he got the nuances and the gestures and all that kind of, all the minutia that go into the characters. He wanted it to be natural for a Western audience. Motion capture やっぱり人間っていうものを表現していかないとその一人が考えることであのいろんな人の感情細かい感情が表現できるかって言ったらここはそうは思わないのでどちらかといって言うとやはりその実写の映画を今回は撮っていたっていう印象です Well, I dare say everything has proceeded according to plan. I hope you're here to talk. What do you want to know? A great sense of uh, like spatial awareness is really useful for actors to, to just visualize that environment because we're essentially stood in the middle of a warehouse, but we're also in a throne room with a massive set of flight of stairs. The, the actor has to create the right eye lines and, and that sort of thing into space, into nothing. And you just have to imagine that this is these are walls, big high walls, and then there's a big statue there. You kind of just have to sort of almost throw it up there in, in your mind's eye, and then you just have to kind of see it. It has been a long time, Your Majesty. Yes, far too long. The throne room, the, the, the palace is vast, and his throne room is high up. So you've got the ground level, and then you've got stairs going up, and then a platform, more stairs. And then the throne way up here. Slightly yeah. shallower, shallower. Yeah. yeah. So you end up looking at the base. So they have this intimate conversation, but they are, I don't know, maybe a hundred feet away and on different levels. So she's standing on the ground looking up at him on the throne. And he's up on the throne looking over the level. So from an acting point of view, that was very odd. And imagination really is the big thing, not only in acting, but also in performance capture. And um, you have to be able to be a little loose with your lateral thought of where the environment is, because it can change. Some people might find that a little difficult because they might want to physically see the environment, not just see it on the screen. But um, I think a lot of people get used to very quickly the idea of using your imagination to fill in the world based off the screen you're looking at or based off any of the art concepts you've been given. And after you get that knack, it actually becomes second nature. That feels OK. With motion capture as opposed to film, so you kind of have to do the big expressions as if it's theatre again. But if you're wearing a head cam, you've got a camera here. 
So it's this, your brain goes, there's a camera there, so I've got to do nothing. And then you're like, no, but I've got to do big stuff so they can track it all and... Damn it! I'm not going to let it end like this! We have the headset on so that they can know our expressions, like every point, every wrinkle on our face, everything can be as realistic as our face. It is hard to get the fine line between overacting and underacting in motion capture, so it is a bit of a skill to master. And if I don't play, it's ready for all. 20 miles from the center. We are working 24-7 live in Tokyo. Actually, because of the time difference and everything, they are watching remotely. They are with us for the whole journey, even though they're not here, physically not here. It's a global collaboration, what we're doing here today. It's not easy, but um, it's fun.